burnout car. Well, maybe two. So we need to stop and grab some straps real quick. We get a couple cars. We only got straps for one. That was crazy. All the choices, but I think we found some. Ready to go get a car? I guess. <laughs> Crazy windy today. The time's come. We've been watching for a little while for a car. We told Alex, and Alex found something. So he sent us this, and this should be a little deja vu. This is how Bernie started out exactly. And there's two cars. There's something kind of cool about both of these cars, and we'll go over that when we get there. Got to fill up that Gasco Guzzlers. <laughs> Team Gasser doing doing some towing today. Putting in work. It's been a minute since we got the enclosed trailer out. Can you clean your windows? <laughs> this horse is pissed. <laughs> He's like, hey, let's get this show on the road. Popped off, ready to rip. There's PPIR. That's probably where we're going to do the first practice burnout. Ready to do some burnouts? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> we're almost there. We're up in Colorado Springs, about 45 minutes from home. This is where we got Clyde and Bernie, and now april's burnout car cars i don't know what the heck we're gonna do we're buying a couple of cars and april will figure out what she wants to do with them when we get them home uh we've been looking for something random something different something cool you guys have been asking when she's gonna be doing burnouts and it's hopefully soon the the cars are kind of complete they don't run and drive yet well we looked at trucks we looked at cars we looked yeah, at variety. everything we've been looking at so many different things alex sent us that post that we showed you earlier i'm super excited and i can't wait to start this build hopefully we can get it done by the end of the year just in case some other events pop up and i can participate in them well we'll just have to see what happens but we're definitely going to be working on this car and trying to make it pretty cool James was showing me some pretty cool cars last night that have been uh, built that are Jaguars and one, one of them. One was from Roadkill. Yeah, and the other one was Hoonigan and I thought they were really cool. So I've always kind of wanted to do like drifting. I think that's really cool. So maybe we'll go down that path too. <laughs> I don't know. We gotta um, figure out where we're gonna put all these cars. We already need a bigger garage. I don't even know where we're gonna work on this thing. But. Yeah, I might be buying a bigger house. <laughs> <laughs> it goes downhill quick. We're gonna need a bigger house with a shop and a two car hauler so we can get back and forth to all the burnout events. But it's gonna be worth it. It's definitely gonna be worth it. Well, it's a lot of fun and anyone out there that is even thinking about doing it you should do it i mean this build right here is going to be a perfect example that you can go buy relatively cheap vehicles and go have some fun with it and do burnouts and stuff at least at least we hope it stays relatively cheap for for the first little we'll bit we'll see yeah sounds like i'm gonna blow them up pretty quick there's but... one of them. Oh, is that it yep oh oh there it is i think that's the that six. actually doesn't look too big that thing's pretty cool Everyone, you guys really, kept really saying cool. that it was going to be really big, but <laughs> well, that's the little one, and then that's I don't know where the, the 12's one. at, but we'll uh, we'll get out and check them out. Sweet. Ooh, new burnout car. Check it out. <laughs> oh that's man, unique. It's definitely the unique. Body lines on this thing are and I think the hoods open up, open the other way. A little rough on the interior. <laughs> Yeah, get you like a Kirky anyway. Yeah. That'll hold you in there better and stuff. This thing is pretty neat though. Looks like they've been trying to do a little bit of paint and body or at least get some. These seats are gross. That's your burnout seats. Ooh, I'm not doing a burnout in those seats. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. It's like a wood panel in there. Oh, yeah. I'm just take that out. Too. Fancy. Oh, yeah. That one's in a lot better shape for sure. <laughs> they're pretty cool little cars for sure they're pretty neat so this is the 12 yeah these are these are super cool this one's definitely a lot cleaner nice interior in this one this is a cool little car oh yeah look at that <laughs> jaguar life car's not bad at all got all the old fuses and everything up in it but really this interior is pretty pretty decent so that thing looks kind of familiar right there and they got small block chevys already in them <laughs> they're already converted so this should be pretty neat 
kind of cool little little builds that they do. I guess these are real popular to swap a small block in them for whatever reason. So both of the cars have small blocks in them. Like I said, neither one of them run, but it should be pretty cool. It shouldn't be too far off. You said they shouldn't be that far off from running on. They've ran though like this. Yeah, yeah, with so, the conversions. Yeah, with the conversions. They've ran and drove and everything. So they, I don't know what trannies in them even. So we're, that's all about to find out. But hopefully we can get these things kind of running and driving, even if we throw a Holly sniper on them, put it fuel injected, and then start doing some burnouts with them for there. And if the engines last, cool. If not, they'll get an LS in them pretty quick. What do you think? You don't know what? I don't know. <laughs> Looks like a lot of work. <laughs> Just doing a quick check, make sure the engine turns over. It's not completely locked up. And moves. Might even have a little compression. April will be doing burnouts in no time. We'll see. Yeah, we will see. Oh, yeah, no problem. Woohoo! That's a good sign, at least. No, I don't. Yeah. Okay, this will be my favorite. This is my favorite part. I know, isn't that cool? I'm a Jaguar. <laughs> Rawr. Rawr. What, what do Jaguars say? <laughs> Rawr. Maybe. Hanging out in my new ride. Well, one of them. How do I look in this car? I don't know. Let's see. How do you look in that car? <laughs> I look like in my ride. Ready to do some burnouts? This is an awesome steering wheel. That's a big old steering wheel. I don't wheel. know. I mean, do you think this is good leverage or do I need Oh, yeah. It'll work. Okay. It'll work this? for popping tires, I think. This? It's probably the horn. Or just the design. No, this is the horn. Beep, beep. Get out of my way. We'll hook up the horn for the nitrous so whenever it blares it, you know you're on the bottle. That's a good idea. <laughs> Getting a little bit of air in this one, then we're going to try to push it out. Push it down to Alex's truck, which is way down there. Burn, burn, burn. Keep turning, keep turning. Uh -oh. Straight, left, 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 straight. Right here. Hey, take One down, one to go. We got this one in there too. What are you thinking, buyer's remorse? <laughs> no, she, I think it will all work out. It'll be good. She's just looking up, knowing there's a lot of work, but it's all right. They're all a lot of work, right? Yeah. So we're gonna get this thing strapped down. Yeah, Clyde was Clyde was a crazy amount of work. These will be even easier, I think. I hope. Fingers crossed. Getting back here to strap it down. They are IRS, but they got really cool suspension. This whole cradle can come out. We just hope that that diff lasts doing burnouts. But check this out, that is really sweet, that big aluminum knuckle. That thing's, that's really cool how these are kind of designed and set up back here. Got it all strapped up. Yep, that ain't going anywhere. Good to go. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Woo! That car's not bad. Really not too bad. April's wondering, did you get a good deal? or not on this thing. So what'd you end up paying for two Jaguars with small block Chevy swaps? So for two of them, I paid $1,500. <laughs> so she paid 1,500 bucks, both have titles. The one has a, looks like the Jaguar transmission with the adapter plate. We have no idea what the other one has. They're a little different to each other, but there's a lot the same. Some parts came in there. The guy said that like even the tool kit in the back's worth quite a bit. There's some spare yeah. parts. He said the bumper. He's like, oh well, don't feel too bad. The bumper is probably worth the what <laughs> the, what you paid for it. So. so the parts. That's kind of a cool part. Kind of sucks part is that it's, it might be hard to get parts in the future for it. But it's cool that it's going to be something different, and unique. Now we just got to figure out, and maybe you guys can help us. Which one? What do you guys think we should do with them? I'm thinking. We should probably try to get like a Holly Sniper, slap it on there, get them running, or get one of them running. She can go try to do some burnouts with it. They're all gonna be a learning experience. We gotta figure out what works well. If you guys know anything about these types of cars, what's good, what's bad, I mean, let us know in the comments, please. Uh, give us some heads up. You guys are awesome with everything else that you guys know and give us uh, your knowledge on based on it, but 
April owns two Jaguars, and we're gonna figure out how to do burnouts with at least one of them now. Well, my dad thinks it was a really good deal. <laughs> so that makes you feel better? Yeah. <laughs> he thinks they're the coolest cars ever. They had a car guy, they said. It, uh, yeah, yeah. Now April has two project cars. I have no idea how long the small block Chevys will last doing burnouts, but we're gonna find out. I think we're just gonna send it until it blows up or whatever, and then I guess we got a spare one in the other car. Like I said, we have no idea what we're gonna do with it. Or I, I assume at some point I'll get maybe an LS. I mean, there's so much engine room, especially in the J12, that you could easily put a big block in there and have a ton of room. It's pretty, pretty cool. And and a big cam in it big cam it needs a blower or something we'll spray it that's what i was thinking with the sniper is that you know we can slap that on there if we need to put a little nitrous kit i don't know if the the small blocks would last who knows if they even have cams in them or anything we know nothing about them but i guess one day when we blow them up and pull them apart we'll know but as long as they have enough power to do a little burnout we're gonna start there <laughs> the guy was saying that the reason why one of them doesn't run is because the fuel pumps it's got like a fuel cut issue and he couldn't ever get it to really work the fuel pumps in the back i guess a lot of those cars they go put a fuel cell in the back kind of in that trunk area anyway so we'll definitely be just getting a fuel cell coming for it and we'll decide if either we're going to try to run them on the carburetors for the start or just go straight to a holly sniper I'm not sure some stuff we got to figure out figure out how much money we want to pour into which one we got to kind of look over everything a little everything. overwhelming <laughs> little april when we first got there as you guys saw in the video she's just like uh just just not sure just there that's a lot there you look at both those cars and it's a lot of work on both of them i feel better now like <laughs> i i think it's The interior in the eight is, is yeah. extremely rough, but if it's a burnout vehicle, we can clean it up. Right. Maybe even, I don't know, at some point put a little cage in there, put a Kirky in it. They have, I guess, saddle tanks and everything. Well, if you got those put a fuel cell, we could actually concrete in the like rear quarter panels like they do over in Australia. So when the tires blow up, it doesn't destroy the rear quarters in the car. So we might even, we might try that. I've seen that in a video and it'll be something we're trying. Full send burnout. Full send Jaguar burnout vehicle. We'll need a name, so I'm not sure what we're gonna do there. Maybe you guys Maybe can help us out with that too. Jack. How's it doing? It's tight. Perfect. Made at home, we're actually gonna go ahead and unload them. And which one's coming into the shop? The white one. Or the, the, <laughs> the gray, white, primer, primer bodywork, all the rough stuff. So we think we're gonna start with that one. It's a little bit smaller, a little bit shorter wheelbase, probably better for burnouts. And if she goes out there and destroys one, that's that one's not as bad. So right, yeah, the interior is pretty rough and just the car in general is a lot rougher of a car. Rough. So we're actually going to try to get that one in the shop to begin with. So we're going to go ahead and get those unloaded now. Ready? I think I'm ready. April's first project, project car. Project begins. About to roll into the shop. Two projects. <laughs> and... Got it. Oh, <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay. I'm going to try to get out of here. Struggling. There's your first thing to fix. Make sure the driver door works. Yeah, driver door. Nice, huh? <laughs> I don't know how we do that, but you guys can help me. Let her rip. Start turning. Not bad. No, that's perfect. Just hit the brake. Hit the brake. Brake. You're holding it? No, she ain't holding it. You're on the brakes hard? <laughs> Brakes aren't that great, but we'll get there. Woo! Engine's still in it. Yeah, this thing is quite the sight. <laughs> hey, safety glasses, perfect. Got an electrical box in here too. Shoot. I wonder if that could be a reason why I didn't. Hey, stop. plug wire. <laughs> that don't mind that. Don't mind that. That 350 don't need that. Nah, it's a it's a 320 minus the cylinder. <laughs> that thing turns like a champ though. That has a heck of a turning radius. Shoot. Yeah. <laughs> Whipped out of there right there and made it all the way to there. Like actually pretty good. All the that all the angle. Turning radius that might damn well be a very good burnout. Yeah, no, this thing might work out perfect for that. Got all sorts of parts in here and stuff too. 
technically in the There's trunk. stuff. Bunch of stuff. Golf cart update. Still run, just need a little bit of brake clean to get it fired up. Or uh power Up. Oh. Now I'm gonna try to use this thing to pull that thing into there. So now here's the fun part. We gotta slide the car as far over that way as possible so we can try to get the golf cart out and around. I think we deja vu with Bernie, I think. Alex, pull. Jack. Watch yourself. We can use the jack too to pull around on it. We're pretty much there. Yeah, just have to back it out. We might have to pull the car. Actually, as we push the car, maybe we push it into right here. Yeah. Okay. Reverse, reverse. Not bad. Just the right wind to Oh, yeah, no problem. Perfect. One down. One to go. This one is pretty sweet. How are we looking? Ready to rip? Everything's power in this car. It's kind of cool. Everything's in the center console. Ooh, hot, cold. Shoot. That's pretty crazy. All the switches. What? What? I think this one's mine. No. Aww. <laughs> Got the wheel just a little that way. Got a lot of work to do. Got a lot of work I got to two cars. Relax. Smells like leather. That's perfect. I broke it. What? Everything in here is oh, no rear, rear mirror. Are you supposed to No, it's right. It's, it's in the back seat. It's oh, right well, back here. <laughs> what does that mean? The pole. Pull air. Right here. Oh, it probably has those little ducts where you can bring outside air in. Huh. We're already pulled. Oh, got the choke. I don't know what this bad boy is. That's probably the nitro switch. <laughs> uh, I would like to use some of those buttons on the dash. There's all sorts of buttons. Yeah, this is a clean ride. V12. I mean, as clean it's only as half it. of a V, though. V12. That's my smokes. <laughs> Do you have an ashtray? I got an ashtray. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Pristine leather in here too. Oh, it is high end. If we were in the seventies, we Ball. would be high rollers. Ball. All right, well, high five. We did it. High, high five. five. We did it. Go team. <laughs> now we just need to build them. <laughs> Auctioneers. Oh, there. it's an auction car. Crap. <laughs> What's wrong with an auction car? <laughs> Dang, it's even got a mirror. Don't here? don't pull that out. Shoo. What a deal. Look at that. This you is check nice. your makeup before you do your burnout, babe. Pop the hood. It's already popped. <laughs> Let's do some tuning on this bad boy. Oh, Edelbrock carb. Yeah, it's ready to rip. No problem. Oh, there's the problem. Battery ain't hooked up. Hook up the battery, turn this thing over, spray some fuel in it. <laughs> on the next episode. <laughs> we made it home. The car is in the shop. The other one's outside. Titles in hand. <laughs> Lots of work to Lots be done. Lots of work to do. Next time we'll be going through everything, figuring out what trannies in it, what engines are in it, all that stuff. I mean, we kind of got an idea, but we really have no idea also. So, Tune in next time. If you guys want to see more, you know what to do. See Hit it. the subscribe button. <laughs>